Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. We're excited to be even this many people in one's place again. It's exciting. So thank you. Uh, it's wonderful that the weather worked out. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we had some, <clears throat> some fun this morning as the wind was blowing and the clouds were gathering and we moved the piano under the awning and, and everything, but we're hoping it'll just go like this nicely and the wind won't blow and if my music starts flying that direction or something, then we'll just keep, the show must go on, right? So uh, <coughs> we'll just go with it. Uh, but thank you for being here. Thank you for being so flexible on the different uh, things as we're trying to figure this all out. Uh, so we're excited to do this. We're excited. The kids, when I told them that we were going to do a live concert, it really perked them up, and it really made practice go a lot more exciting. It was actually perked up, you know. So, so thank you that we could do this. Um, to start off, this is our, uh, our concert choir, our sixth grade choir. And they're going to do a three-set song for you. The first one is We Can Sing. <laughs> we figured that would be an appropriate way to open a concert, just We Can Sing Again. So uh, that'll be our first song. There's a little switch in your, in your program. We're actually going to do uh, <clears throat> Over the Rainbow next. That is not the one from the musical. That's the Hawaiian version by uh, Brother Israel Kamaka Kokoiwiole or something like that. Uh, so that'll feature a uh, ukulele as played by Ali K. Wood, and her assistant will be uh, Jaren Knopp. Following that, we will then uh, sing uh, a song called Erie Canal Boogie. And if you know anything about the Erie Canal and the history of that canal and its importance in our uh, history and our movement west, uh, Hopefully you'll appreciate it. It talks about the, the life that that, that was and, and very old song and apparently they even boogied while they went down the Erie Canal. So, concert choir.
Okay. Our next group is actually a combined group. Uh, as you know, we've made a lot of adjustments this year. I'll probably say that again. <laughs> uh, one of the things is, is this is our junior choir, which is our fifth grade group, along with a small eighth grade group that we're calling the Symphonic Choir this year. We decided to combine their pieces for this particular concert. So they're the, the taller ones in the back, if you can't tell. Uh, <clears throat> they'll be singing three songs for us. Uh, the first one is a, actually a three, three short songs all in one. So this one's called Three Quotes by Mark Twain. Uh, those of you who are maybe even just semi-familiar with Mark Twain, you might be very familiar with some of these quotes. Uh, feel free to laugh in between the songs, but please do not clap. Uh, I'll keep my hand up to designate that the, that one song is over, but we're moving on to the next. So we want to do the whole set before you actually applaud for the whole three song set. So feel free to react, uh, but please don't applaud for it, for it until the whole three set is done. They're very short. Uh, <clears throat> The next song is, is about music. It's called the Calypso song. So if you know anything about that style of music, this is a song about that style of music. Uh, the last song really goes with the kind of the, the theme we're going here, hope and healing. Uh, this song is called We Might Heal. And uh, hopefully that's what we're all figuring out how to do after this last year or so. So that one features two soloists, uh, an eighth grader, Brenda McDonald, and then the second solo will be by a fifth grader, Susan Millard. So our junior and symphonic choir com combination.
faith that there is a reason Though it may be As the other educators here can attest to, one of my favorite things, and I'm sure theirs is as well, to see is a student who thinks they can't do something and then they do it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to watch. So our next group is our Carter Crescendos. For those of you who don't know, this is our, uh, our high school audition group, which means they need to uh, have a certain skill set before they're able to, to join this group. It's a little smaller this year because of but uh, we're hoping to rebound here actually really, really quickly this fall. I'm very excited. Um, but this group has learned a lot and they've grown a lot and it's been fun to watch them even as a small group. There's a lot of advantages to a small group, really. Uh, this group is, uh, we didn't get to do the normal things we normally get to do, which is go to large group festivals and be critiqued and all that. That was done, but it was online. Uh, in fact, they don't even know their score yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talking about that tomorrow. Uh, so they didn't know that either until right now. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, the three songs we chose, we actually really integrated them thematically this year. Uh, I, at least I think so. Uh, <laughs> the first one we're doing, and it has to do with what everything is going on. Uh, the first one is an old spiritual called Nobody Knows the Troubles I've Seen. Some of you may be familiar with that. Maybe you can relate to that song a lot over the last year. We sure can. <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll, you'll feel that as we, as we perform it. Uh, that one features the soloist, Alicia Davidson. The second one is an old uh, choir favorite for any of you who are maybe choir geeks out there like I am. Nobody probably is as much as I am, I know. But uh, it's, called, it's a folk song called How Can I Keep From Singing? So we figure we go from, you know, this, this year we've been through and, oh, it's been terrible and glory, hallelujah, it's starting to, to come out of it. But even through all that, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop performing. I'm not going to stop singing. I'm not going to stop doing the things that make me me. So we're not going to, we haven't. One of the great things that I've loved about working here at STEM and the, that we've been so privileged is even over the course of this year, we haven't had to stop. We've been able to keep singing. Now, not under the, the best of circumstances, but we've been able to and together in person. So we've been very grateful for that. Uh, that one features also a soloist, Brooklyn Coppinger. Finally, we move on then from that feeling to it's a new day, it's a new song. So the last song is called A Joyful Song, Sing a New Song. Carter Crescendos.
Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Glory, hallelujah. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down.
Okay. Our last group tonight is our women's chorus. They'll make their way on right now. Uh, this is a first for us here, just this semester. And it's remarkable how much progress they've made in that amount of time. It's been a lot of fun. This has been a fun group to work with. Uh, I wish I could have a women's chorus all the time. I don't know that that's always possible with our rural school here, but uh, <coughs> I'd have to have, love to have a boys' choir all the time, too. That would be wonderful, too. But uh, that's why I wanted to feature them kind of as the last group. Uh, they're going to do four songs, mostly because uh, some of theirs are a little shorter, so the time is about the same. Uh, their first one is something I'm sure many of you know. Maybe you really don't like this song. It's called Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Sounds like something maybe, you know, you were sung to to wake up, and so it's not a... but. 
oh, what a beautiful morning to this new day, right? So that's the idea here <laughs> from the from the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, Oklahoma. Uh, they'll start with that one. We'll then move on to a a cappella piece, so nothing but their voices, called Sing Alleluia, Sing, simply. They'll then move to a spiritual, another spiritual, called Little Wheel a Turnin' Turnin'. And then we will end with uh, one that the girls really enjoy the most, I think, uh, called, it's an old Scottish-Irish folk song called Bonnie Portmore. That one features a flute obligato, I think. Oh, good, she is here. <laughs> we didn't see her earlier. Uh, Tess Falquist. And in addition to that, we have two soloists, Catherine Rocco and Tirza Zoner. So our STEM Charter Women's Chorus.
transpose button. Okay, as it designates in your program, we do have actually one more song for you, combined piece, if those students would start making their way onto the stage. While they're doing that, we've got to give our thank yous that we always give, that we need to give. Uh, the first one is to all of these students' homeroom teachers and their other teachers that they work with. If those teachers did not do what they do, I... <laughs> I don't know how I could do what I do. They, they get them prepared. They teach them all these other soft skills that get them so they come in ready to learn and work. And I just thank, and then they put up with me throwing their schedules off every so often every year to do all these things. So I really appreciate them. We need to give them a big round of applause. We do have some crew. We, uh, Mr. Gill is our maintenance man who helped coordinate a bunch of boys this morning to put this together. We've got to take it down afterwards. We'd love some help, by the way, uh, to get this all taken down and, and in so that it's in before you know tomorrow. Uh, can't leave it overnight. 
Uh, so Mr. Gill and his crew, we should give them a round of applause. <laughs> Our, our audio and visual group that's behind the scenes always making things, making us sound better than we are, which is great. Uh, Austin Whaley and Keenan Cole earlier today, and then we've got uh, Roman back here on the video, so thank you to them. And I'm sorry, I should have thanked uh, Mr. Booth over here. He lent us some of his equipment and has been helping guiding us as well. I want to thank him along with Mr. Swick, Mr. Thompson, always working behind the scenes, as well as our office ladies who do a lot of things that, again, make things run smoothly around here. So we want to thank them for allowing these things to happen. And last and most important, is our amazing accompanist, Mrs. Robin Booth, who is the greatest musician in the room. Uh, she makes me look a lot better than I am, and then when I make a mistake, she acts like it's her fault, and it's just amazing. So I wanna thank her. Please give her our biggest round of applause. Thank you. So our last song uh, is from The Greatest Showman. Uh, we felt it was an appropriate way to, to end the concert, end the school year, uh, end this pandemic, as we not just get back to normal. I don't know if that's the most appropriate way. In some ways, I think that's appropriate, but it's, it's more than that. We want to not just get back to normal, but we want to get back to a new normal. Let's take what we've learned over the last year and a half or so and, and apply it and make the new normal way better than the original one. So let's rewrite our stars. Uh, and make things better than we ever thought could be. This uh, features two soloists. Cole Chandler will, will be our first soloist, followed by uh, Rachel Wakelin a little bit later. So rewrite the stars by our combined secondary choir. No, I want you. It's not a secret I try to hide I know you want me Laying our hands are tied You claim it's not in the cards And fate is pulling you miles away And out of reach from me But you're here in my heart So who can stop me if I decide That you're my destiny what if we rewrite the stars, saying you were made to be mine? Nothing could keep us apart. You'd be the one I was meant to find. It's up to you, and it's up to me. No one can say what we get to be. So why don't we rewrite the stars? Maybe the world could be ours. You think it's easy You think I don't want to run to you But there are mountains And there are doors that we can't walk through I know you're wondering why Because we're able to be just you and me Within these walls But when we go outside you're gonna wake up No one can rewrite the stars. How can you say you'll be mine? Everything keeps us apart. And I'm not the one you were meant to find. It's not up to you. It's not up to me. When everyone tells us what we can be, how can we rewrite the stars? Say that the world could be ours. Tonight, all I want is to find. 
Okay, well, again, thank you for coming so much. Thank you for helping make the weather work out. Uh, again, uh, any of you who can help us break down and get things back in, uh, the better that would help us out. Uh, they just need to get in and into the gym and then I'll, we'll get the boys in the morning to set it back up where it all needs to go. So uh, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the help through a very difficult year for all of us. We're grateful that we could end it at least like this. And uh, if we don't see you before the end of the school year, really hope you have a really wonderful summer and excited to get back to a rewritten way of doing things in the fall. So I'm gonna hand the mic over to Mr. Thompson and have a wonderful evening, everybody. Please drive safe. <laughs>